Welcome back to the channel. If you're over 50 and looking for ways to make some extra money, or even retire early, today's video is for you. We're going to talk about how you can turn your hobbies into a profitable side hustle. Whether it's crafting, baking, photography, or any other passion you have, these tips will show you how to turn what you love into a steady income stream. After 50, many of us start thinking about ways to slow down physically or transition out of traditional work. But that doesn't mean you need to stop earning money. In fact, turning a hobby into a side hustle can be both fun and profitable, plus, it's a great way to ease the physical burden of a labor-intensive job. Think about it, you've spent years perfecting your skills or talents. Whether you enjoy making crafts, cooking, taking photographs, or even gardening, there's a way to monetize your hobby and build a business that fits your lifestyle. The first step is figuring out which of your hobbies has the potential to make money. Start by asking yourself a few questions. Visual, text appears on screen as the host speaks. What do I enjoy doing in my free time? Do I already have the skills and tools needed? Is there a demand for this product or service? Could I see myself doing this regularly without getting burned out? For example, if you love crafting, there's a huge market for handmade items like jewelry, knitting, or woodworking. If you're into baking, you could sell your treats at local markets or online. And if you have a knack for photography, you can start offering services for events or selling your images as stock photos. Next, do some research. Look into what similar products or services are already available and where there's a gap you could fill. Check out platforms like Etsy for crafts, local markets for baked goods, or Instagram for photography services. Ask yourself, who would be my ideal customer? For example, if you're a crafter, your audience might be people looking for personalized gifts or home decor. If you're a baker, it could be local families or event planners looking for high-quality, homemade treats. You don't have to go all in from the start. In fact, it's smart to begin small and test the waters. For example, if you're a crafter, create a few products and list them on Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, or even local community boards. If you're a baker, offer your treats at a local farmer's market or take custom orders from your neighbors. And for photographers, start by offering your services to friends and family or even local small businesses. Promotion is key to growing your side hustle. Use platforms like Instagram, Facebook, or even Pinterest to show off your work. Post regularly, share behind-the-scenes looks, and don't forget to engage with your audience. Let people know what makes your product or service special, whether it's the handmade quality, the unique ingredients, or your personal touch. Be sure to ask happy customers to leave reviews or recommend you to others. Word of mouth is powerful. Now, let's talk about pricing and scheduling. You want to make sure that your side hustle is worth your time and effort. Start by figuring out your costs, materials, time, and any fees associated with selling platforms. Set prices that are fair to both you and your customers. Don't undervalue your work. For example, if you're selling handmade items, factor in not just the cost of materials but the time you put into each product. If you're offering photography services, price according to the event or number of photos delivered. Also, set a schedule that works for you. One of the benefits of a side hustle is that you can control your hours, so make sure it's flexible enough to fit into your life. Once you've tested your idea and found what works, it's time to scale up. This could mean producing more items, offering additional services, or expanding to new markets. For example, if you're a baker and your cakes are selling well, consider offering catering services for events. If you're a crafter, expand your product line to include seasonal or custom items. And if you're a photographer, start offering packages for weddings or business portraits. The most important thing is to enjoy the process. Turning your hobby into a profitable side hustle is not just about making money, it's about finding joy in what you do while creating new opportunities for yourself. Take it one step at a time, learn as you go, and don't be afraid to try new things. With passion and persistence, your hobby could become the key to a more flexible and enjoyable future. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tips on how to make money after 50. Drop your favorite hobbies in the comments below, and let's see how you can turn them into a side hustle.